Gotta go and get it back, cause that's just my move And I know you've been trying I've been playing all the games and niggas dying Pussy so good, might as well just dive in And she in my phone, yeah, I'm about to fly Oh, that was the shittiest release I've ever seen in my life Shitty as hell. So welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your host in the most time with the boy, and you're currently watching Time Boy TV. Your boy just took a massive fat L on the Supreme Bandana Jack Reversible Bluff. Fuck. Ugh, I'm mad. I'm big, big mad right now. Um, I got to check the mic is on. It's kind of loose. It's kind of falling off right now. And uh, anyways, yo, we're about to go in store for Supreme Week Three Fall Winter Nineteen. <laughs> I don't know how this mic is working right now. Hopefully, it's somewhat decently. I'm holding it in a really weird way. But, like, you guys can see it right here. <laughs> but, anyways, we're about to go in store. We got DSM spot. I got to go on this train real quick. I'm not going to talk much. I got to get out of here. But, uh, let's get it. I'm going to go and get the profit. Yeah, by any means, young niggas had no options. Had to get the cream. Young niggas had no fathers. Mama raised a king, and I can't trust nobody. Yeah, they changed on me. I've been frequently freaking knees, bad bitches. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we have made it. Like, I, I don't even gotta work out. I just gotta fucking do this. Every Thursday is a fucking workout, yo. Kinda mad close. I have 15 minutes to get there. 15 minute walk, but I gotta get there early. Make sure I'm not my ass. So we're at New York Red Station. And uh, we're about to go to DSM. 10 seconds later. Alright, y'all. Looks like we have fucking made it to the line. Not the actual store, but to the line, because the line is two blocks down from the actual uh, location. I'm sweaty as fuck right now, like, I did not know it was going to be this hot. You boy brought the camel pants for once. I did not expect it to be like this, but, uh, we're about to hop in line all sweaty and shit. I'm spot number 67, or 64. I'm just hoping, hoping that they got this freaking fleece jacket in there, because he's doing over $500 right now. I'll talk more probably uh, when I'm out the store. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Uh, yeah. Two hours later. Well, that was actually the worst experience I ever fucking had. I never want to come back to here again. And this is why actually two seasons ago I started up signing up just strictly at Brooklyn. And then I was like, you know, that shit kind of mad for knowing to get out there coming from Jersey. But like now, honestly, I'm down to make that fucking trip for two hours. Like, I can give less of a fucks, bro. They're mad rude here. Mad, mad rude. Why are you rushing me through my shits? Didn't have anything I asked for. Black medium sweats were gone. Uh, it's, uh, it's fucking disgraceful. It's disgraceful. And they all act like they're for some fucking sensitive ass. I don't even want to get into it, but anyways, we're about to get out of here and go to Soho and see what everyone else is. Well, homie walking to Soho, look what he showed me, look at this app, yo. We got Off-Boy, Air Force Ones, I mean, uh, Air Jordan Ones, MCAs, basically like an IPO stock, and you can go to the, can you go to the graph real quick? Yeah, uh, there's no graph oh. in here, but it's like IPO. It's, that's like, like the Chinese candles, right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. The candles. Yeah, yeah you, you can buy and sell yeah. token, and if you have enough token, you can just redeem the real stuff. That's mad dope, yo. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you check this out, 55.com, yo, Travis Scott Jordan 1 stock room right here. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at all them pairs, bro. Holy all shit. Tag. All the tags, all the tags from StockX. Holy shit. That's a whole lot of 55.com, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Uh, damn. It is pouring out here, which is even worse to this debacle. I do got the shit, just shitty items in my bag. I don't know how this day is finna go because we're out here. Uh, luckily, we got a ride from the homie. He was showing me some crazy shit, some cool stuff coming with them. Uh, I'm not gonna speak too much about it right now, but it's definitely a cool little thing that he's working on. Not him, just a lot of people. It's very big in China as well, which is good for the Chinese uh, market. But anyways, we're here in Soho for Supreme. Two cent for La Fight. No, I didn't even know it said Supreme. Two cent for 190 Bowery right now. Yes, it's in a beautiful little area. Right? I'm in a little cubby area. Uh, but Harlem said he's coming down here soon. Um, and then we're going to link up with him, see what else is good. But I have somebody hopefully getting me some items that DSM didn't have because there's some fucking stupid dummies. Uh, but um, we're about to be in here and see hopefully he can secure me the items that I do need. Because if not, I'm going to be super pissed. And then uh, I don't know what he's going to do for the rest of the day, but chill around the Soho area. On the camera this time, so first we do got the denim right here. I honestly really did like this piece in the blue colorway the most though. We got a medium size right there. 
Next, we got the Rita Auto uh, Ackerman Nosebleed Hoodie. Did not cop this one. I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, let's see, nice big bag. Oh, we got another one size large right there. A lot of people are buying this item up. Oh my god, this jacket right here is one. Hold on, let's see what we got here. We got two beanie, oh no, one beanie. We got one regular beanie, the Ben Davis Black. Right here, and then we got the new era one right here. I got this one in the Navy. Honestly, did not know they had a little box logo on it, so that's probably going to add some value to it. But this jacket right here, I don't want to take it out fully. But yeah, looking right. Bro, this is a retail of $188 XL. That's a good size right there. You guys can see the Ben Davis logo on the inside. Honestly, pretty dry week besides everything else. We got this Rita Ackerman. Then we got a shit ton more of these. A large. Damn, man's went crazy out here on these. And what is this? Oh, these are the... Oh, shit. We got the post-it flags. Damn, I did not see this shit yet. Damn. Damn, yo, look at this right here. We got a bunch of post-it flags. A little smaller than I thought it'd be. We got the full box right here. Dope set for sure. And we got a nice haul from the man. Y'all, so over the... I mean, Lori side by Barry is dead right now, y'all. It's actually dead as hell. I know what we finna do with my brick ass items, but we finna figure watch this, watch this. I'm gonna give you a quick peek at the line. There's actually construction in front of Supreme. That's what it looked like right there, security right there. Ah. Uh, so one homie came out of the store real quick. We do got the beanie right here. The nice the white one real quick with the cursive logo. We got the full set right here, the denim set. Uh, we got the denim skate pants in the black and the uh, button up right here. Not a bad piece either. Oh shit, look what we got here. We got the Supreme Set Butterfly Table Tennis Racket. Damn, this is what it looked like out here. That's wild. $200, bro, check here. The item. Oh, look at this. We got the light right here. It's much smaller than I thought it was. Teeny. Shout out Teeny right here. Supreme neck cord, QR code on the back, keychain red, one size USB charging. It looks like there's a white. Uh, look, look. I guess you can't press it. I have no idea. On or off, switching in the mode, LED. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have made it down to Mercer. Um, not good day, bro. It just wasn't that exciting of a day. The Mike Davis to collab did a little bit better than I thought it was going to be in like certain sizes and certain colorways of certain pieces, like the black jacket. Ended up doing, well, you're not making much money on top, but still over retail, which I thought was just going to end up breaking for under retail. Holy shit, that dog's taking a massive shit right now. Oh my god, that dog's taking a massive shit. Holy fuck, right on Mercer. The disrespect is real right now, yo. That dog, yo, that's wild. Anyways, so I went to Supreme. I mean, I didn't go to Supreme. I went to Dover. Got me fucked up. Shri Mark, you're the homie at Capital of Hike. You guys recognize the Sakai video. MCM on body. Uh, he went to Supreme, so I'm gonna check out what he got real quick and see what it is because uh, he got some more shit than I did. So first of all, oh cool, he got the dollar from Supreme. He, he take this dollar, bro. Go get yourself. It's the most piece. valuable thing this week, right yeah. here. Yo, that ass. So first of all, we do got the little beanie right here, the new era beanie. All the post-its right here. They only said you have to buy all six, which is kind of like a not a scam, but like you know, they making you buy all six because they don't want that shit sitting in the store anymore. They, they got the full box right there. We got some more Hanes pieces, uh, some more of that. We got Hanes white boxers. Must not cop that item though. Then we got some black boxers right here. Then we got these. So I wanted the black medium. They did not have any of the black colorways, but they did have the green ones in a size small. DSM didn't have any small at all, but I gotta say the Gucci vibes is for real on this one. But the black color did have a little bit more of a Gucci vibe, I do gotta say. I mean, then, now this one definitely was more like Gucci, but the black one was just a bit more my favorite because it's a little bit more subtle. And then we do got some more Hanes items. Oh, sh oh, I forgot about this. The official logo name is the Chrome logo along to the top. You guys can see right here. That this is actually a nice logo. It's Chrome. Basically what it looked like. The graphic is nice and big. No $78 retail on a size large body. And then the rest of it is just Hanes and this piece right here. So how, how, how would you rate this week? Terrible week. Terrible, right? Terrible week and the weather was terrible. It was a sign. It's like, stay home, don't go to Supreme today because the most you're making is like 10 bucks, you know? Yeah. Terrible week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, this week wasn't the greatest financially. Um, sweaters, of course, if you cop that, it was a great week for you, but you literally had to be top 50 within um, on uh, Bowery or top BK was probably top 80 or some shit. DSM, you had to be top 15. 
it's, don't even get me started on DSM. A whole story will be coming. But we do got the Nike. You guys see the bags. You know what that means. Sakai video coming soon as well on all three colorways. Ridiculous the man cooked up on this release. Uh, so we're about to chill out here on Mercer for a little bit more. I'm going to upload the live cop and then we'll catch you guys at a little bit more around Soho and maybe at an unboxing at the dorm room. What's your look of all three, bro? All three in the same shot. We got the black pair right here, the multicolor pair right here. And then we got the white and the summit gray pair. I don't know. You're still my favorite out of the three. We back it up just a bit. You guys can see all three pairs looking beautiful. This will probably be the thumbnail right here. So if you guys are watching this, you guys can see the thumbnail. Yes, yo. Oof, I can't believe he cooked up all three. That's a crazy achievement. Oh, I say the leather switches are dope as well. It reminds me a little bit more of like a vintage feel. But I gotta say, I'm excited to see what else comes out from this collaboration. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and I apologize. You will hear the toilet flushing in the background because uh, our toilet got broken and it's clearly getting fixed. So it is what it is. I, they've been here literally almost like a few hours and like it's, I, I can't be waiting no more. I gotta get this content out for you guys. So we did come out of Dover Street Market in a very sad, sad way. I mean, you guys see some whack ass colorway in here. I was like, you know what? I'll just take what I can get and I will get the hell out of there. Uh, she was mad rude to me. I asked for certain stuff. They're like, yeah, go to the front. Like, just go to the front, which I understand. Uh, however, you don't gotta be mad, ignorant, and rude about it at the same time. They act all like, you know, like, uh, if you've ever been, been in DSM, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, continuing off with this. We got one regular box Lego sticker, but this one had I actually did get will be up for sale on my page at Tommy's Taylor, as well as maybe two other pieces because I didn't actually fulfill any pre-orders on that. But we do got this is a fire cap. We got this is considered off white on StockX. You already know that price is about to go way up. It is it did sell it online as well the last time I checked, but you got the black and red branding of Supreme on that off white colorway with the tan brim, the tan backing right here, and this was a retail of And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. We had to go get that shit fixed. And it looks like the bathroom's all good just in the meantime. So, as I said, we did get the hat right here. A little bit of profit on top. Nothing too crazy. Uh, they did surprisingly have an XL in these t-shirt right here. I did actually end up flipping this one uh, for the high sky high. Actually, the retail was $68, which is not... Uh, it's actually kind of pricey for a Supreme t-shirt like this, but I'm also not even a big fan of it. I was gonna take a picture on the gram, but then I was like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna, what am I gonna wear with this? So I decided not to do that, but we do got that old English font on there once again. Well, I'll not be staying in the collection for any longer than about today, and it will be getting shipped out. And it's 100% cotton t-shirt. $68 is not a, it's alright. For depending on what I sold, I made about 30 bucks on that one, which is the benefit of going in store is you can get shit right in hand. You can put on eBay right away, you can put on Grail right away, you can put on StockX right away, even though it's kind of iffy to do it that way because, you know, it brings down the market right away. But I would say it is that's the, one of the most beneficial parts about going on in store. And I also did manage to get this in an XL right here, the Supreme, and what is this? The Breed Crew Neck. Yeah, there's a brand, Breed Crew Neck in a tangerine color right size XL uh, made a few bucks on this one as well which is not too bad I didn't really wasn't a big fan of the branding the colorway is horrendous in my opinion uh, but I will not be keeping this one so that's a fact but something cool to uh, mention on this one is it does say made in Canada on this one to like legit check then it also does say the RN number right there on the back you guys can see hopefully it lines up perfectly but yes this is the supreme uh, crew neck right here and then we also do have the Ben Davis t-shirt that, uh, I mean, the beanie that Capital of Hype helped me get because at DSM, they didn't give it to me. So I was like, okay, yo, can you hook it up for me? He was like, yeah, I got you. So this is a Ben Davis beanie. You guys can see the logo right there. It does have Supreme Old English font on the back as well. Uh, so this is the only item I actually did cut from the collaboration because um, they did not have the work jacket I wanted in the pink and black colorway. And I, they, when I asked them, they're like, absolutely not. It's not on the fucking shelf. So, I was like, okay, bitch, all right, all right, that's when I was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And then that next up we do, and the thing that really pissed me off as well at DSM is they let the Sakai winners go first when they're only buying one item. We were buying more, everyone walked out of there with more than one item at least, like at least the beanie or some shit, but I just kind of found that disrespectful in a way, so shout out Sam, the manager of DSM. <laughs> That's on you, my guy. But this is a $38 retail right here, the new Arabini. Oh, we do got the Supreme box logo on the inside, on the inside tag. And then also on the outside, we do have this, like, listen. This wasn't really shown on the pieces, but we do got the nice Supreme box logo on the back of it. So I didn't know it had that when I finally bought it. I was like, yo, shit, good thing I picked out Navy. The red on Navy hits hard. We got the script logo on the front. So if you don't like the script, you can just rock it this way and have, like, a small box logo beanie, I guess, with the little pom-pom on top. 
and the total the totals of the day came out to be three hundred and ten dollars last week i spent three hundred dollars in store this week i spent another three hundred dollars in store so so far every week i've copped some item uh although online was unsuccessful and in store was semi-successful i guess but um it is what it is but this is definitely a fire piece i just don't rock hats myself yeah, what the fuck is this? I'm, uh, oh, that was nasty. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it so much. Let me know if you guys cop down anything below. And tomorrow will be the full Sakai review. And after that, we'll be finding the most rare Supreme items in the history of this history of Prem and the brand. And then the next, uh, we'll figure out Travis, cool Travis Scott's videos involving these right here are coming out as well. And if you haven't seen the Air Force One review, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but please check it out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching.